Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited and a little nervous for today's video. I finally picked up some of the new NYX lingerie lipsticks and I say finally because I was a little skeptical about getting these just because these are mostly nudes and black women and nude lipsticks usually tiptoe around each other. But could these be the answers to our prayers? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here they are. These are the NYX lingerie lipsticks. These bad boys retail for $7 for 0.13 fluid ounces. I picked up six with a coupon and the six that I got were Bedtime Flirts, Embellishments, Beauty Mark, Honeymoon, Teddy, and Exotic. Now, I feel like these names are like perfect for this video since you know like it's February we're just coming off of Valentine's Day you know yeah no just me anywho so these are the pros of these lipsticks the pigmentation is decent um, it doesn't take much for an even apply the color range as far as nudes go is very pretty um, my fairer skinned subscribers have a couple more options but us darker skinned girls do have some good options and as far as the other colors go that aren't the best options they're workable with a lip liner um the longevity of these is pretty good I would probably say you get like around maybe five hours before it starts to wear wear off and um I mean, you can't feel anything when you have these on. It's not like the Kat Von D where it just sucks the life out of your lips. Now the cons. Um, they're a tad bit chalky. It's almost like smearing Crayola across your lips. And it kind of smells like it too. Borderline. Um, like I mentioned before, it is a little bit more work for darker skin tones with some of these nudes as far as mixing them go so that it doesn't look as bright or washed out on your skin. Now, this is my biggest issues with these. These lipsticks are so damn tacky. And I'm not talking like white after Labor Day tacky. I'm talking... Did you see my lips? Just imagine what would happen to this area of your lips if you went out with these lipsticks on in this winter weather. Not today, Jesus. No, not, not today. So I grabbed my trusted Agave Lip Mask, which if you don't have this, get this. It is a lifesaver, especially for dry and cracked lips, and I applied this on top. And I got this, which I feel is much more doable. Now, let's get into these swatches before I give my final thoughts. <laughs> taken into consideration I'm going to give these a 3 out of 5 without the lip mask and a 3.5 with the lip mask I mean these are just there like I don't see myself rushing to use these anytime soon if I'm doing my makeup and I just happen to see them laying around then yeah I might use it um, I do like four out of the six that I bought um, I, there's 12 altogether the other ones were just too crazy for me to even attempt to make work but out of the ones that I bought, I do like Beauty Mark, Teddy, Exotic, and Embellishment. Um, are these worth the hype? So that's it for this video. I hope my review and these swatches have helped in your decision on whether or not you're going to purchase these lipsticks. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.